to another um, PS4 Champions Cup playoff round one game between Underworld and Vampires. Um, they've just about to start and um, boom, there goes a kick and it's just a change of weather. So, um, interestingly the, the Vampires have got a, a a wizard stadium that's bizarre really they don't really have any problems of getting into a cage i would say the problem they've got is trying to you know keep on the pitch because of obviously the thralls low armor and and stuff and obviously the the bloodlust of the vampires um so i'm very interested on that gotta admit so um you know, um, Rooney's um, Underworld, they got to uh, the final a few, uh, about three, I think it's about three seasons ago now. You know? Just bear with me. Oh, and he's already eating people. Bear with me. I'm going to send um, invite. What am I doing here? Did I not put? Did I not create a party? I'm sure I did create a party. My apologies. Who? Everything's everything's going wrong. Get that off. Let me see if I can invite Durant. There we go. Back to the game. My apologies for that. Um, but I'm back. But yeah, I mean, hey, there you go, Joanna. I've sent you an invite, mate. Um, I'm just going to have to be careful with the echo. Um, so let me try and get my bearings here. So he's obviously going for these goblins. He's got a pow on that one. At the moment, no goblin has been taken care of. I'm pretty quiet. That's a worry. Really? Don't see how. I've got everything um, maxed up. Is that any better? No. Oh, bloody hell. Hello. Yeah, it, it's saying I'm, it's saying it's fan. Is everyone else having the same problems? Because, um, yeah, there's nothing wrong on my end here. Oh, it's telling me there's nothing wrong with this. Let's see how that goes. So what did we miss? A foul. That's what we missed. Um, drip mug. Like I said, I did send you uh, an invite, Durant, but... Obviously, the only concern I've got is if you if you if you uh, come on is the echoing, because a lot of people always kick up kick off about the echoing. When did they send you your your winner's mic anyway? Your winner's headphones. It took a while, hasn't it? Yeah, you get you do real well. Welcome, they ain't fucking send you it yet. No group is here. The monster, the killer, Duran's best friend. Good old groupie. Okay, Duran. Um, Groupies, who's, in, uh, who's on the Azo winners team in the Civil War Cup? 
Well, I've got the old fashions of Coca Cola, the old bottles, the old glass bottles. So, a blast from the past. Right, okay. So, I have missed a bit, haven't I? Um, so, he obviously got sent off for stamping on the goblin, and I don't know what happened to that guy. But luckily, now now I've sorted all the, uh, the part of chat and everything else and all that, we should be now. Okay. So Rooney Mount, obviously he got to the final with um, Underworld. Very good coach. Plays a lot of um, Underworld. And I'll be honest, I was talking to... Was it Calcium Cast? I think it was Calcium Cast I was talking to. And saying, God, you know what? This season I might just go Underworld. Because nothing really appeals to me. And, um, you know, might have a good laugh. I was going to have a, a run on the PC as well with Underworld instead. But... F the amount of games PC players play is just insane. Really is insane. Um, so I don't know. But there's a lot of fun to be had with Underworld, isn't it? If you can keep them alive, that's the thing. I mean, the troll's really good and really good value uh, with, with mutant access. You, you've got your two head goblins, you've got your potential um, stone vermin killers. Decent ball handlers who can get two heads and stuff like that. Kamikaze goblins with the double can, you know, with horns and wrestle. So much potential. Vampires rose tricky. I always think, I always think with vampires, there's two things I don't like about vampires. The first one is if you roll a one and you go and score in the end zone, it doesn't count. Well, I think it's a lot of bullshit because really, technically, what you do, you go into the end zone, yeah, I've scored, throw the ball down, go and get something to eat. So to me, that should stand. And the second part is only armor seven on the thralls. So not only are they getting chewed to pieces by the vampires, they actually got no armor. So they, they you know, they're getting killed and broken almost by freaking goblins. So. Vampires suck. But then you see Shagrath play vampires, and you think, bloody hell. Or a Death Ball, Death Ball on the Xbox, because he plays vampires very well. But it's funny, like I said, if, if the Thralls were armor um, right, I'd be tempted, you know, once, uh, wanting to have a proper run with them. Um... And same with Kemri. If Kemri's Chum Guardians didn't have the care, I'd be all over them as well. Just something fun. Um, but I just think some quite a few of these funky teams always have a massive weakness. Or to me, anyway. It just puts me off them. So both teams have a wizard. Like I said earlier, very strange for a vampire team to have a have a wizard. They don't, they, I mean, vampires really shouldn't have a problem breaking a cage. You know, they're probably the best equipped to break in a cage. So it makes no sense to me, that. But hey. As long as it makes sense to him, that's all what matters. And this vampire's going to give this good old llama a slap. People have been asking me when's my playoff game. Um, I don't know. Um, so that <laughs> that doesn't really help anyone, does it? Oh, dare play on this lamb rat. Here we go. Have a bit of that. Oh, didn't do too good. Um, I'm really, to be honest, I'm being too proactive with Nathriel. I've been very busy over the weekend. Um, but I have messaged him to say like, when you want to play. Personally, myself, I'd rather play Monday late. Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I can't do. Really. Well, I could if it was in the afternoon, I suppose. But this game... So obviously, um, inducements-wise, he got Galat, and he got um, this, this uh, Skitter as well. And Skitter's quite important, because Skitter gives the Underworld uh, a, an option of a gut runner. Now, he's not the best gutter runner in the world, but he is cheap. And they just come with stab. 
comprehensive tail. I'm just wondering if he's going to try and blitz this uh, killer and killer uh, dare player. That could be quite useful. I love these trolls. Uh, he's gone for complete destruction, hasn't he? He's gone for piling on next after claw. There he goes. Three die. Oh, and he hasn't got block, has he? And neither guy'd wrestle anyway, so it would have made no difference. So that's a bit unfortunate. Interesting to have wrestle um, after data player. Just watched uh, Deadpool 2. Such a funny film. So how was he going to play this? Okay, well that's a nice question for Oh, he's got all the way back. <laughs> okay. Hmm. They're playing past the parcel like it's a freaking bomb, aren't they? Yeah, no, you have it. No, you have it. Question is who's favourite to win this game? I mean, I, 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 I mean, I, I didn't have time to do any predictions this time round. But if I was predicting this game, I would, have, I would have probably sided with Moonimont and his Underwell just for the point is he plays them, he, he plays them almost every season, and he's got to a final with them before. Got to a final with them before. So and here's Duran. No, and here's Duran. No, they're Duran. Hey, what's up? Good man. Good man. So, uh, we don't miss so, much. Uh, we don't miss much. Pulling it back up. Okay. I've got the one, I got the headphones in with that mic cause a little bit of echo for you, but if it gets really bad, I'll try and do it the other way with the, uh, the mic that I can turn on and off. Make him a foul. Oh, he's injured him, and that's oh, him gone. Him and that's him gone. Lineman. Yeah, I've seen him a few times, yeah, Mercy. I've seen him a few times, Mercy. Um, he's, he's pretty good. Um, he's, he's pretty good. You'll have to let us know, guys, we'll how, bad know guys how bad the is. It's bad to me, but I can deal with it. But how bad is it for you guys? How bad is it for you guys? Yeah, if it's total trash, I'll try and use the other mic and just on and off, but that'll be a little more tricky for me, because I have to listen to you through my TV. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> because obviously, if I listen to you on stream, I'm going to get you on a delay. <laughs> 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 yeah, I wish uh, sign I would hurry up and send me my headphones already so I can see if those work or not. <laughs> yeah, well, they will work. Well, they will work. I'm sure someone in chat will let us know. Sure in chat let us know. I do know I don't like fouling as a vampire team, and that's something also does. Yeah, I'm not yeah, too, um, I'm not too um, happy with them. Um, it's because you're going to lose them. thralls to your vampires, yeah. right? He did on yeah. turn one. I just saw that before I left. So. Yeah. They're cheap, but the dynamic doesn't quite work for vampires. Yeah. It blitzed the only thrall I think we found. Guess it doesn't matter too much. Guess it doesn't matter too much. Yeah. 
Did they both take wizards, or is it a wizard stadium? Wizard stadium was interesting for vampires. Interesting for vampires. Little bear. Oh. Two star players. Wow, we found that much, was it? Yeah, quite a lot. Yeah, quite a lot. We need Underworld Bench. Eat Vampire Bench. Okay. <laughs> We'll, well, we'll see in a minute, won't we, we'll if, uh, minute, if the Echoes... Um, the Echoes... Because no said in chat, so I'm going to listen to this so on my own stream, so I'll be one, one sec. Yep. This turn four, we got what? Is it four vampires? It's four. There's only eight left? Wow. This is kind of a... Uh, it's already hectic for the vampire. What's that? What's that? Yeah, it looks like a really bad echo during... Yeah, it looks like a really bad echo during... I've just listened to myself on the uh, stream. On the, uh, stream. You talk for a minute, all of a sudden. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... Okay, I'll just talk and see what you think, and then you can tell me. But yeah, I mean, I was very yeah, I mean, su I was surprised, surprised with the, um, with the um, wizard enhancement wizard stadium, enhancement because, stadium it because it doesn't need it. I mean, vampires have, I mean, no, vampires problem have no problem cracking a kid. So, I don't know, I just thought so, it was know, just thought crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm gonna try and flip over. Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. So while I'm um, so doing while that, we'll just keep going on, and obviously the echo will stop soon. Basically, what you're gonna do, and uh, there's no point in being buying new headphones and that because you're gonna get some from Cyanide because obviously he won them in the World Cup because he did fantastically well. So we'll, he's gonna go to another um, headset where basically it can sort of like. I don't know, mute it so it doesn't echo. But it just means it's just a bit harder for him, bless him. But um, we will see. Um, anybody else um, surprised about the uh, the wizard enhancement? Um, I, I just think it's a bit bizarre, to be honest. But um, yeah, I've, I've seen a few of all subs games uh, against some of, some of the top players as well, or some kill teams and stuff, and he's been really unlucky in quite a few of the games. I've been quite impressed the way he's played. So I, I you know, I, when I saw this game, I thought this is a, this, a, this seems like a fair game, because obviously the underworld they can they can definitely get some um, good star players, and they have done, and then obviously they've got potential of the killers, and um, you know the vampires have got some nice pieces. So there you go. So just let us know when you're back, Joran. Not great. Oh, when he's gone for the reroll, he definitely wants that guy. Obviously, with him having more um, well, might blow, claw, and pile on. And there you go, there is an injury. Count Frenzula is injured, and it's missed next game. And if he doesn't use his apothecary, this could be him gone for the game. I would. <laughs> I don't think I'd use this. Would you use the Yappo here, Duran? Well, he didn't. And Regen's failed. And um, that is a vampire out the game, so the, the reroll was well worth it. Huge blow for the uh, vamps. So that's 
four players off the pitch. And two for the uh, underworld. Is it working or no? Yeah, you're working. You're definitely working. So All right, cool. I think I finally figured it out then. Cool, good man. Um, yeah, I mean that that, that was a big removal, but um, he, he obviously re-rolled because he didn't get him the first time, and it obviously paid out. It's amazing how much time that re-rolls do pay off. Um, but that that's a big loss. I mean, I was just saying, would you would you have used the Apo there because it was a miss next game on a vampire? Would you just trust the regen there? Because it was his weakest vampire by the looks of it. Um, how many players is he down now? Uh, oh God, um, quite a few. He's that one, two, three, four plays down, but three of them. Obviously, one of them could come back. So he's three plays down now. But that was his first. Vampire. Yeah, it's it's, it's tough to say. It's close. I think I think maybe, but may I don't know. It's tough because if you don't win, you don't move on, right? So. The MNG is kind of irrelevant in that sense, so yeah. I don't know. I, th I think no, actually, actually, you know, one less vampire is actually not too bad. I find managing three is sometimes easier, and he's got less yeah. thralls, so maybe letting it go is the right call. Just hoping for a regen, but it's tough to say. I always, I always, I always think with MNGs, it's really tough to apo them because you know there's a good chance they'll fail because obviously you know they're not done, you know. Where if he's if he's badly hurt, I'd be more inclined to have apoed it because I know I'd definitely get him back. But I think, like you say, it might be easy for him with three vamps. But the thing is, he was the weakest vampire. I'd be really cross if I apoed that, and then obviously one of the the better vampires got you know a miss next game or killed. Um, and obviously you still got a fifty fifty chance of it regen as well. So you know I think it was the right call not to um, to uh, you know use the apo in the end. The regen didn't work. I mean. I was just saying, I mean, I don't know if you heard, but um, what, do you, what do you think of the stadium enhancement? Do you really think vampires need it? I, I, I look at it as a bit of a negative. I don't think they do, because like you said, vampires are wicked good on defense. They're like kids love. They're just, they're always going to find a way in if they want one. Mm -hmm. So I think you just go with the, the boring security gate or uh, yeah. the, the one that stops bribes, I think. Probably one of those. You really don't. The wizard just seems like you're uh, you're giving your opponents a way to, to um, an extra way to combat your uh, hypno gaze, which is something you don't want to do, probably. Yeah, and and, and that's it. I mean, I I, I was like, because at first when I saw it, I thought oh, it must be at Monty's stadium, and then when I realised we wasn't, I was like, well, why has he done that? Because it, it seems like he's just handicap. He, he's basically handicapping his main strength. What is he's got the best chance of getting the you know getting the ball loose, and now you know I mean. All, all I can see here is Rooney just waiting for the perfect moment to just either fireball or, or, or you know, use his bolt to get the ball, and away he goes. Um, I just don't get it. I just, I just don't. I would love to know the reasoning behind him um, going for the, uh, for the, um, you know, the, the wizard hands man. Cause to me, it makes no sense. But like I said, if it makes sense to him, that's fine. But. I, don't know. I was just going to say, that's not the ball-carrying gutter runner in, is, is it? But I guess it doesn't matter. It's movement 9, agility 4. It's good enough. Yeah, with the underworld, that's the only gutter runner they can get. I think it's like 160 grand, so it, it's not bad. Um, you know, and it gives you that extra bit of speed. But, um, yeah, like I said, so if he gets the ball, he's off, isn't he? And, that, and that's the thing, but... I don't know, I just... Just, I mean, I just couldn't get my head around why I'd want a wizard state, wizard, wizard enhancement because a lot of the races going up against would really benefit from a free wizard. I, I, all I can think of him maybe he thinks, you know what, I'm, I'm really high TV, so, you know, I want a wizard, so you're going to get one, so I'll, I'll have one. But the way I look at that is you could do that, but then that 150k that I spent for a wizard, they're going to spend on something else, maybe like this go runner. So I must admit, I, I, I really don't like it. Yeah, he wouldn't have both star players if the wizard enhancement wasn't there, because obviously he would pay for a wizard. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, and one of them two star players could end up winning him the the, the game. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see how it goes. But I think um, by the looks of it, next turn we're going to see the the, the the bolt or the um the fireball. Because as you can see, this gut runner is hung out here, 
So I'm presuming what they're going to do, they're going to get the ball off him, send it his way, and then he's going to go bombing right down here, and nobody's going to be able to catch him. Um, this... He's going to he's going to send that thrower in to retrieve it. Yep. Dish it off to the gutter runner and touchdown. Yep. And there's a nice injury. Um, I was talking earlier on stream that I was talking to Carlson Cass, obviously your your best pick in the Civil War, and I was saying I really fancy doing an underworld um, run just for the just for the fun of it, but. You know, the goblins are so squishy, aren't they? <laughs> well. Yeah, but to your point on wizards, like I, I get, I play halflings, and they've got like six hundred TV on me, so I'm just basically giving them everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but come on, man, that was a great draw for you. Dwarves against flings, come on, all that lovely free XP you should be getting. As long as you roll up. Yeah, home stadium too. I get my bribe for my death roller. Oh, well, there's someone as great as you should be able to do this, no problem. I'll tell you what, I like this. Dead player on the star player. That is a nice move. And he's injured him. Oh, I'm glad he's, he's gone. gone. <laughs> and again, this ref does not send this player off. I'll tell you what, that's a huge moment. Because I, th I was feeling the underworld again on top here. That really does help the vampires. That's a really nice uh, player. Well, it's definitely going to put the pressure on Rooney if he wants to try and really go after stopping this touchdown with the wizard now, right? Because now the star player is gone. Um, you might want to just hang on to that wizard and kind of let it go maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because, um, I mean, if, I suppose it depends where it keeps the... Uh... Yeah, there's the hypno. I suppose it depends where the ball ends up here. Hmm. Like he could be suckered into a nice attrition fireball here, which I think would probably be a mistake. Yeah. Because he's going to get four for sure if he wants it, right? Depending on where the thrall ends up. Yeah, he's going to get to take a shot at four if he wants, including the ball. Yeah, it's tempting. It's, it's, uh... it's tempting. And he's going to go for. I guess it. I guess it wasn't that tempting at all. <laughs> Also, it was automatic, and it, man, he might pay for it now. Yeah, because I, I keep forgetting, because obviously the, the vampires still have a wizard, don't they now? So all of a sudden, you know, you'll be saying, hey, look, I've still got my wizard. Rune is bent, his wizard. Uh, but I think I was the same with you. I would have kept it, because a lot had to go right. And he's done for this, this ball carrier. Like, he's he's got to blitz the ball carrier. Like, he's all in now. To burn the wizard, I mean, and it didn't get the right guys either. It, it had to get one of those two vamps to open up a good lane. So, yeah, yeah. sucks being underworld. Yeah, that's a good call. He's sort of thinking maybe the game is over. Oh god, he still didn't get him though. So yeah, what's he gonna do now? The tree. I suppose the oh, then again, there's no goblin next to the troll. Oh, it's all gone Pete Tong. And he's now used the, the gut runner to come back here. So he's not going to be attempting to get the ball loose. That's for sure. And, um, well, it's all gone wrong. Horribly wrong. He, he'd like to see this guy off the pitch. Doesn't get him. And you, you've got to pray you get lucky with your troll now. Four plus to move him. He's stuck there doing nothing. Oh, he's already tried to move him, sorry. He's already tried to move him. Yeah, he gets the, uh, okay, he's going to go for the two die here. I was wondering if he would try this or not. Sidestepper, though. Oh, we got the pal, though. Oh. I'll tell you what, this will be annoying if he, uh, if he removes this piece. Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> you know what? I think that KO bailed him out, because he would have blocked his path. So, it's kind of like, uh, it's good and bad. I think he put him in the wrong spot. Yeah, very. Oh, this is this is this is a tough one, and this is the with vampires now. He could probably score, but if he rolls the one, like, he won't be able to. Oh, yeah, see, crazy. if he if that if that just been a stun, he'd be screwed right now. But because it wasn't, it was a KO. He can still YOLO to the end zone if he wants to try it, and he can get rid of one of those two with the hypno gaze from the other vamp. Hmm. Yeah, but couldn't he have just moved his wrestle piece off the floor and? Uh made the cap that way 
Yeah. Possibly. But, uh, He's going to have to move the wrestle anyway, I think. Yeah, but uh, yeah. the wrestle could blitz the gutter on her right and make the hole, which is yeah. what I was yeah. looking at. So Rooney Mon's got a brab. Um, and he's got a bib as well. And he's doing exactly what you said. Oh, God. <laughs> but he got the... He didn't get a push. He needed a push. Push was better. <laughs> yeah. But to be fair, the vamp does have dodge. So at least it won't bend a reroll if he rolls a one. Yeah, yeah, it's just... It's all about the bloodlust and the GFI. That's it. Yeah. Can he stall here? <laughs> I don't think he can, can he? No, you don't stall here. That'd be suicide. There's, there's, yeah, there's too much to just come after you and get the ball. Is you just score and you hope you can stop the two turn. Mm. Yeah, and you've got a wizard as well that will help you try and stop the two turn. So, if need be, so yeah, you got to try and score. But some of them dodgy GFRs as well. It's all on the bloodlust. First of all. Oh wait, is it two GFRs? I counted wrong. I think. Yeah, I think there's two. Yeah. Well, the bloodless is alright. The dodge is okay. It's the GFRs now. It can't stay there, surely. Next to a, next to a, next to a gutter runner with stab. That would not be smart. Well, not no, he's got smart. a score. There's, I don't think there's another option. It's okay. He may be thinking he doesn't have any tackle, so he might be thinking, all right, Blodge, he's got to nail the one, you know, his odds aren't as good, so, but I still wouldn't do it myself, I'd still try. He's got pro on this guy, too, so if he even burns the reroll on the first one, he could, oh my god, he's not going to score. The thing is, as well, he's just seen his other vampire just get powered by, you know, something with no tackle. Wow. Um, uh, and jump up, stab, just ignores Blodge, yeah. so. He's going to probably foul him, I guess, yeah. Got him. He got enough of him. Mucky. Mm. I don't like it. I must admit, I don't like it. Cause I don't like it either, but it's kind of all worked out, hasn't it? I mean, he will get a one die on the ball for sure. But, um... N no better than that, probably. Or oh, maybe two. Maybe two. He get a two die if he wants to push it. Definitely. Um, oh, this is risky. I don't like this play. I mean... I know you never like to give any team two turns to score, but pff, he is really um, pushing out here. Who dares wins and all that, but... Yeah, Goblin and Killer Assist and a Thrower mix of Blitz. It's a pretty, it's a pretty basic turn. <laughs> well, it depends what he wants to do. I mean, technically, the, the, the Thrower could come all the way around to the top left of the vampire if he really wanted to. I know there's a chance of a, a set. He yeah, he could, but then he adds a GFI to the blitz for the other guy. So mm. It's all safe moves if he does it the way I said, but it looks like he's going to take a chance. Oh, there you go. Go, go the bear anyway. Good lad. I have always liked Rooney. Listen to, listen to the old dude. Listen to me. Nothing will go wrong, honest. <laughs> this is where he'll fail. This is where he'll fail the GFI now. Uh... Uh, if he eats the one in 36 here, you're not going to look too good, Bernie. <laughs> no. Oh, he didn't get him. <sighs> What's better? Hmm. Push into Push. the corner. Uh, into the. You think? Yeah, definitely. No doubt about it. Because he's got to follow on base. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Now he's got to dodge this other go around. Uh, this other Skaven. And he's laughing. Because I would put him next to the little goblin. And then he's going to do well to get through all that. But he's already bent his reroll. Oh, get it though. Oh, he's gone there. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. No, that's a mistake. Oh, I'm, oh that is a horrid place to put him. Um... I hope he takes the time to consider using the wizard here. Because it, it could be useful. I don't, I don't know if you do, I'm just I'm hoping he takes time to consider it. Yeah, yeah I, I must admit, if I was a vampire player here now, I'm not even thinking of the wizard. I'm thinking, right, what's the best way I can score? Oh, he's used the wizard! What was that? 
He used it on the wrong guy, though. He, did. <laughs> he needed he to use did. it on. He needed to use it on one of the other two. That doesn't do anything for him. No, I mean I'm I'm appalled to use the wizard, but he's bloody bolted the wrong piece. Oh, he might as well just foul and have done with it. Oh man, what what devilry was that? <laughs> he's gonna have to just blitz straight through the goblin. Yeah, that's that's got to be his play. That's why that must be what he's thinking. Yeah, but the thing is, it's not he, terrible, I guess. But... It is terrible because if he, if he gets blocked, he's blocked himself in. He basically needs a power. He, he hasn't got tackle. I didn't say it was good, Bernie. I said it's not terrible because <laughs> he does just need a push. He needs a push, and then it's a one thirty six dodge for a touchdown. So, yeah, a one and nine is or one and eighty one. He's got re rolls. So one oh bloodlust too, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. he's got a couple things he's got to get past. But he could. He could. But the thing is, he could have done that them odds without freaking bolting someone. There's your bloodlust. There's your dodge. There's your dodge. Sort of, I sort of want him to fail, to be honest, because this has been an awful turn. It's got to push him straight down. Like, this isn't even a thought. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Run for it. Will Nuffle be on his side? And it is. Well. And, and if he was going to do that, why didn't he take out the line rat first so he could have had a free space to dodge to for a yeah. two plus instead of a three? Yeah, I, I. How how would I think if I'm Rooney at the moment? I think I won't be t too annoyed because I made him use the wizard. He didn't have to use that wizard. That was just a waste of a wizard. I mean, we was on about Rooney's wizard, but I could sort of understand why he used it. I don't get at all why Alsop used it. Why he used the wizard and why he bolted that player? It made no sense at all. And he's just basically wasted a wizard. No, I, I, I think the wizard's okay, but he, again, he bolted the wrong piece. He should have bolted the thrower, and then all he had to do was run through the goblin. Easy yep. touchdown if he, yep. if he was going to wizard. But again, probably could have got away with not using it, but it is a pretty easy touchdown with the wizard, but he, used, he hit the wrong guy, so. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. I thought, oh, man, using the wizard, I didn't like that. And then when I saw which play, place he'd hit, I was like, what? You hit that beast, you only hit the thrower, blitz the goblin out the way, and you've scored. But, I don't know. And obviously, that, that thrower as well was armor 7. I mean, I don't know what he rolled, but it would have been an easier chance to, you know, get him off the pitch. But the big thing is he's got his vampire back. So, and the other plus point for all up is that he did stall to turn 8. So, you know, let's think of positives here for the vamps. So, but I'm not impressed with that, I must admit. You know what? I just checked the dice log. The roll on the armor on the bolt was a 7, which means with Mighty Blow it would have been an 8, which means he would have broke the thrower. There you go. There you go. And um, this is these are the little things the top coach, like the Azawins and that, don't miss. Um... And I, I like you. I mean, I wouldn't have used the wizard, but I can see why, you know, like yourself, would use it. But again, it was the wrong piece. That's what I'm more annoyed with. I mean, it's like, is there, why why would you bolt that piece? I mean, it, that could have easily failed and blew up in his face. Um, but uh, he got away with it. And, um, you know, like I said, Rune will be happy because obviously he's got potential of a 110 touchdown with the gut runner. And he knows as well the wizard's gone. Yeah, he's got to spread out his line here. This makes it pretty easy for him, as long as Rooney knows how to do it. Yeah, I suck at one tenners. <laughs> I'm terrible at Oh, I do too, but I still recognize that three together is, makes this way easier. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. I mean, who would who would you have as favorite to win this, uh, Duran? Would you know? Is it? Do you think the Underworld are favorite to win this, or Vamps? Or do you think they're both about even? Uh, give me one second. Just look at the injury boxes. So we he had a four man bench, I think, Underworld. So Underworld still is a full team out there right now. So that's got to favor them. Uh, Undead had three, and they're down three and a KO. Uh, it still seems kind of even, really. As long as that KO gets up, yeah. it's still kind of uh, it's not too bad because oh, vampires are really good on defense, right? So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I mean, the thing is, as well, is obviously, um, if the, if the un I mean, the Underworld ain't get, gonna get too cracked at these thralls now. So if he can remove a few more pieces, then all of a sudden, even though he's 1-0 down, 
you sort of start to think, well, you know what? Could possibly be the favourite. And one thing Rooney's good at doing is stalling this out till the last turn. So, uh... Yeah, he could just say, um, screw the one turn and go for attrition, for sure. Stab, couple pylon, mighty blow got pieces. Could just try and wipe them out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God, Blitz. That's going to make no difference. The amount of times I get a Blitz on, like, turn A, I'm like, come on, man, you could have given me on turn 9 on defense. It would been a lot better for me. But I always get it when, you know, I don't need it. But, uh... Did he even... Is he going for the one turn? I guess he could. He only needs two pushes. It's not that hard. I think he's going to go for attrition. And, uh... There you go. And I don't mind that at all. Yeah, right? attrition. I do not mind that one bit. But I think he's set up wrong. If you're going to go for attrition, I think you want to have the stab ready to stab someone. And the troll ready to hit someone. Mm. I think he's set up all wrong. If he was thinking attrition. I mean... It's a bit odd, wasn't it? Here we go. Oh, that's annoying. And he's tried the loan, and I don't blame him. <laughs> he desperately wanted to kill that thing, but he still could. AV7. His little goblin could maybe do it. Maybe he changed his mind because of the kick. I just realized it's in the opposite end zone, but he does yeah. have a thrower. Yeah. I think as soon as the kick's round there, I think it's a, it's a good option to try and get some get the number game. And this could be nice now. Game. I like a foul here too because he did get the injury on the other one already. So yeah, yeah. Bring the gut runner in as well just to get that extra plus one. Oh yeah, load up. No, nope, he's going to go for some XP farming. Animosity. <laughs> the throw says, no way, my house is like goblin. That, that's actually a... Oh, he didn't go for the foul. I was going to say, it's a blessing. It gives him the foul back, but uh, I guess he's yeah. not going to go for it. Turn 8 fouls are kind of iffy, to be fair. But uh, he could have had a really good one, so... Yeah. And obviously, he gave me the more... Oh, he's got his throw back. But yeah... The KO does come back, so 11 versus 10, Underworld Ball. Yeah. Could be a, could be a good one. Just realized he has a kicker, too. Interesting. Yeah. He sure does. Be interesting to see how he kicks this. Will he go short? And try and get his bumps in on the action straight away. And especially if he gets a blitz, it'd be, it'd be godsend again. Um, or is he going to kick deep? Well, he's not fast enough. He can't. He cannot match the speed of that team with that gutter runner right there. So I, I think a short kick's actually better. I think it favors him more. Yeah. Did you have a Did you have a word with um, your opponent? Because he messaged me saying he was trying to desperately get a game started with you. Yeah, this is kind of a big cluster. I, I just didn't want to play this weekend. I've had a rough couple of days. And then he's like, I can't play next weekend because I'm going away Thursday to Sunday. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. So I'm, he asked me Monday, Tuesday. I asked him Wednesday. We're just, we just can't seem to click, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, that's why I didn't fire up the stream today. It's been a rough couple of days. So I was like, oh, Bernie's going to stream a game? I'll just see if I can hop on with him and yeah. chill. <laughs> you sometimes you need a break, though, don't you? You know, I mean, I think Jimmy Fantastic, he's, like, he's having a break at the moment. He's just streaming John Madden, isn't he, at the moment? So it is a stressful game. And, and obviously real life can be stressful as well. So sometimes you just want to just chill, don't you? So I totally understand that. Well, I got I got absolutely just diced by Mellow's orcs. I was down with my high elves. I was down 200 TV yesterday. Nice. Like literally, his uh, killer broke armor seven of the eight first turns and removed oh. six of the seven times he broke armor. Ouch. And uh, yeah, I melted down pretty good. He hopped into the stream to say sorry afterwards. I just oh, told him fuck off. I was just <laughs> really indignant. <laughs> it's like get out of my stream. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, yep, yeah, I need I need at least tomorrow off. Like, yeah. yep, I gotta take a break. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. It can be a stressful game, no doubt about it. 
And he did go for the short kick, which is good. Yeah, yeah like I said, he, I mean, I've, I've seen also play before, and I think he plays really, really well. And I've seen him times when he has been, like, diced or really lost the attrition, and he's stuck in there. Instead of conceding, he's actually stuck in there. So I have a lot of respect for this coach. Oh, yeah. He played my dwarves a couple times, and I absolutely took him to task, but he didn't concede. No. And, like, we see a few people, we see a few coaches where they'll time waste when things don't go the way and all that sort of stuff. But this guy, he's like, you know what, I'm just going to keep, a bit like Gimlick in a way, he's like, you know what, I'm just going to keep playing and, and do what I can. And, um, you know, it was awkward for me to, who I'd want to win in this game, because I'm good friends with Rooney, and I, and I love the way it also plays, just his attitude. So I thought, you know what, whoever gets through, I'll cheer them on. But, um, yeah, it's a good short kick that I like that. And I think that's why he obviously went for kick, because he knows he can use his uh, hypno gears and stuff like that. Oh, that's big. The do his well, thing. yeah, well, the short kick negates a little bit of the speed because it brings your uh, slower team more into the play, whereas if you go deep, you give them a chance to set up and run around you and all this. But at least this way you can kind of force a little bit of engagement more on your terms. So, yeah. But I do like that he ran back to the center. That was nice. He didn't hang out on the side. Yeah, yeah that protects him a lot better. Um... Yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how he, he goes about this now. Like I say, vampires. Oh man, Un under a great coach, they can be deadly. But I just, I just don't like the AB7 thralls. I'll be honest, they just, just break, in so many ways. I was wondering where the mighty blow vampire was, and now I see it's the pass block vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see he had pass block. Oh yeah, pass block. He hasn't got my he hasn't got my blood vampire, has he? And catch, pass block, catch vampire. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm still debating what to go with this season, if I can be bothered. I mean, I've I played a game with Orc and won that game. I played a game with Lizards and won that game. Drew with Chorps, and I'm just like, well, nothing's really. You know, I don't know. I'm I'm more excited about the Civil War and the cross platform cup than play playing in the sea ladder. If I'm being honest, less stressful. That's nice, hit Mister Gears. Is he going for it right now? I don't think he can really. Uh, it'd be very risky. He can do it. Just that this guy here, the vampire is moving now. The hypno gaze is going to be like a five plus or something. Yeah. Oh, he almost got it. He got a four. <laughs> if it had just... Oh, no, they couldn't have done because the thrall was blocking him. Yeah. Uh, I think he I think he overcommitted because now the way the way I'm looking at the pitches, um, he's going to trash that guy, that thrall <laughs> that just ran around, yeah, and he's going to set up on the left-hand side, and then he's just going to use the next six turns to attrition the shit out of him for overtime, and then it doesn't matter who wins the ball toss. <laughs> See what he does with this vamp. I think you're asking a lot. I mean, here, here, here we go. And after all that, it was a complete waste. Couldn't really resolve much of that. You'd like to think the other vampire's going to come right across. I mean, I'm looking at it from the vampire side, so I'd expect the vampire to come right, or at the very, very least central. Honestly, you probably just put that vampire behind the thrall in the middle and you just leave them. Mm. And he hypnoses a stone bearing, so yeah, that's not a bad move. There's nothing to stamp on. So. So we'll soon find out to see where he goes. He's got lots of options. He has. 
still think he's going to go down the vampire fight, like you said. Um, seems a more logical thing, and obviously, like say, just keep using his piling on, you know, stone vermin. And he's got another one. Is he gonna? No, not yet. I think you pile on. You've got a man advantage. Doesn't look that bad to me out there. Yeah, he decided not to. Probably because he didn't break arm the first time, but. Yeah. But he's, I think he's just going to keep him nice and safely away because he's got the speed, so he can keep in his own half a few more turns. Yeah, he doesn't have to do anything. And like like you've said, the vamps are very slow. And there you go, he's going to go right at the back and say, you know what? I'll keep the ball safely over here. And if you overcommit chasing me, then I'll, uh, I'll I'll just go past you and score. To be, I honestly hate it when players do this, when they run all the way back with the ball this early in a half. Like, it drives me crazy. I just, yeah. But I'm aggressive, I guess. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he didn't have to go that far back today. That's the thing. He could have gone a bit back, but not that far back. Um, Bezo, uh, what's up, book up? Um, not too bad, mate. You need to get yourself in the uh, Civil War um, chat. Was that double skulls? It was. Oh, the troll gets Dubs lost. on the troll? Get down. Before, oh, wow. Okay, so that's a mistake. You should have, before you do anything with the troll, you've got to figure out your hypnogaze situation, which he didn't. So he's in a lot of trouble now. Well, not, I get, well, he's in some ball. trouble. Yeah. Um, Bezo, you need to get yourself in Civil War chat on the PSN. It, there's a meme war going on. And I know how much you like your memes. There's been some quality memes going out in that. Um, so you need to go and fly the flag for your team. I think you're on Team Abana, aren't you? So. Oh, I need no memes. Let the dice do the talking. Oh, well. There you go. Uh, if I were the vampire coach, uh -huh. I think I would uh, take the easy surf on the side and then uh, reposition my team more in the middle again. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. Because there's another piece off the pitch. I know it's only goblin, but you know, it evens the numbers out. So yeah, yeah. no, I like it. Oh, yeah, I don't have a, an issue with that. Yeah, bears are saying surfs up. Yeah, I think he'll foul this troll as well. Ooh, that troll, yeah, absolutely. Now, will he's got tackle. tackle, so that's not gonna work. If he injures him, no, don't matter. Oh, okay, got him anyway, I guess. Got, yeah, <laughs> got him anyway, so it don't matter. And to me, this is the problem doing is when you go so far back. I mean, if the other team have a good turn, if you're right round, I don't know. Just behind the goblins, you can you can you know retaliate and, and fly by down here if things start going bad. When you're so deep, you can't really do much, and you're just giving the vampires time to reposition and put in a good defense. Because at the moment, this is not looking good for the underworld, especially when you get rid of that troll or whatever he's going to try and stamp on. They might even try and stamp on the land land there right instead, but they'll be I just. I realize he's set to foul, but I don't like it in this situation. He just evened out the numbers. But uh, I could see the temptation. It is, it's armor 9, thick skull too, isn't it? So, yeah. Or is the troll a thick skull? I can't remember. The troll has regen, I do believe, instead. Yeah, he has regen instead of thick skull. But um, I think he might foul this lamb rat. Not enough players forward. What for the for the vampires? They haven't really had much time yet, buddy. If you if you're thinking the vampires, there's nothing doing much wrong to be fair at the moment. I think he's just debating whether to foul or not. He doesn't have to. It's not a great foul. It's just one assist. Yeah, but he's probably thinking, you know what? It's AB seven, and I've got a data player, so that's plus two. Oh, for Underworld, yeah. Um, yeah. Just, I wouldn't want to get him sent off because you've got that one vamp all alone on the on the right. 
I'm looking at it from the underworld perspective. And you, yeah. plus, the left is wide open. I would almost just move them back one square and keep them available. Yeah, decisions, decisions. And he's gonna. Plus, Vamp's got six re rolls. I just realized they got one off the kickoff. And after that, it was just a blank a squib. Because he went for the foul and nothing happened. But he didn't get sent off, so that's all good. So here we go. So now all of a sudden, he's realising a bit of trouble, and now he's decided to burn up the, the pitch. The problem is, he ain't going to be able to score next turn. So if he didn't drop as far back, like obviously Duran was saying, obviously I was saying, then he could have got himself into a scoring position for next turn if you know if everything went wrong. Now he's not going to be able to, so the vampire is going to be able to reposition here. No problemo. Um... I think the underworld in well, two. he made the class. He kind of did it to himself, though. He did that classic mistake of he yeah. he he was looking really good, and then he touched the troll before he was finished with everything else. Yeah, yeah. The lovely uh, dub skulls, and he didn't block out, did he? I I feel I would have felt a bit more sympathetic if that troll had blocked. And thinking, Craig, anything but dub skulls, you're all right. But he didn't even have that, so yeah, it was a brave move. And he got punished for it. It didn't change anything. It's still just a hypno gate. Oh, this might though. Oh, he's oh that changes it. everything. What a move from the troll. Oh, he got Can't it. pile on now though. Oh, I don't know. I want to. Yes. Oh. Oh, son. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, lovely. I love. The, I love the pile on there on the a troll. Oh, there's nothing better than a troll sex pylon, I agree. But uh, <laughs> positionally, I think it compromises them a bit. Yeah, it probably does, but you've got to love that. I can't wait to see the pylon tree animation. That's going to be awesome. It better be awesome. Uh oh. There we go. He's he's recovered quite well here as Rooney. And he's still dodging away. Is he gonna keep him there or is he gonna move him? No, he'll keep him there. It, and this this yeah. kinda goes to my point when um the vampires had a chance to kind of, you know, reposition back towards the middle. Mm -hmm. If he had done that, it wouldn't be as bad right now. But now he's yeah. pretty much just got to yeah. just run everybody straight back towards the back left. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. He got the pal he needed, at least. Yeah. Hey, Mellow. Your favorite mate, Mellow Gold. <laughs> just entered the chat. Um, but yeah, I agree with what you're saying, Duran. It's but the thing is, because he can't score next turn, obviously the vampires, you know, if they can somehow make him score, in, even if they can't stop him, if they make him score in two turns, then they're, they're in the driving seat because they'll have all that time to go up the other end and score a touchdown. So at the moment, I still think the vamps are just about, um, that's the camp I'd rather be in at the moment. But I don't know, we'll see. The stall isn't that difficult though, because the closest vampire is on the ground and stunned. So he's gonna get. I think mean, two two turns to stall here is not hard, and that takes it down to like three turns left for the vamps. Yeah. Three turns, four turns. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, you, you know, if you give me or you four turns to score, we're pretty confident we can do it in four. I'm, I'd be pretty confident to do it with dwarfs in four. If you're gonna give me vampires, I'm extremely confident I can do it in four. Um, but. You know, we'll, we'll we'll see. I mean, you know, the, the kickoff event could be a, a defense blitz or anything, so you just never know. But I'd rather be in the vampire shoes at the moment. I think. Um, who was he playing, Mello? Who was no and and his nose playing against? I don't really follow the PC one. It is a pass block it vampire. Is a pass. I'm not sure why he committed the extra guy to the right side of the pitch. No idea. When all the action's on the left. 
And why would you need to do that and then push the vamp? Wouldn't you want to push the thrall closer to the action? There he goes. Oh, Kemri. Oh, there's that goblin still there. I didn't even see him. <laughs> I don't think he's blitzed yet, so I presume he's going to blitz the goblin. The oh, vampire? Yeah. Has it, has, it, has it moved already? I don't know. Count Takula. I want about. No, this is fine. Run over and grab the thrower. There's no point grabbing the gun. Oh wait, no, is that the thrower that's got dodge and two heads? Yeah, it is. Never mind. No point grabbing him either. Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, and it failed to hit no. I really can't blame him for it now, because he got he got he rewarded earlier when the troll dub scald and there were still two hip node pieces, so he might as well. Yeah. Be interesting to see how he does this, uh, because like I said, he can't score yet. I, I I just think they're in a bad position in the world because if they score in two turns, then they're in. Oh, he's, I think he's gonna go back. Oh, he's dub scald again. Luckily, this time it's not with a loner. Wow. I mean, he may go back into the middle. I that's what I was going to suggest. He can just fall back to the middle if he wants. I think that's his best option because you don't really want to be scoring this early. And that helps. It's Kitty saying hello. <laughs> yes. Go, kitty. I think Jester's got a, a very loud cat. And um, Melagold's dogs. So not Melagold. Sorry, Mercy Flush's dogs are always good. We always have a good conversation with, with uh, Mercy. Well, it, it's risk. This is a kind of a risky play. Uh, you could have actually kind of ganged foul that vampire and fallen back behind it. Yeah. Here we go. I'm a bit of that I, I'd like more assists myself. But... Didn't need them. You mm, got it. Yeah, the um, this this team I think has played a lot of games, Mellow Gold, a lot of games, forty plus games, and he, and to be fair, he's played a lot of the big guns as well. Um. Uh, oh God, Andy Dabo is sending me loads of messages, so bear with me. My Discord's going bonkers, so I probably I better go and check it. So bear with me, guys. Because this is obviously... Uh, if, oh, see, that I don't like. I would have liked that goblin to have been in a scoring threat. Just, just to kind of have the option, just to give him something to think about. Yeah, just bear with me, guys, while I just type to... Oh. Yeah, Andy Davos basically saying he's trying to get the big names for the cross-platform cup. I already know the, 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 the guys he's got is really, really good. He's got some of the really big names. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to tell you who they are until it's confirmed. Um, but Team PC are stronger, I th well, in my humble opinion. Um, bear in mind, <laughs> I'm not the biggest PC expert. Um, the cross-platform cup Team PC this season is better than the, C the Team PC in the first season. So uh, it's going to be tough for the consoles. Uh, just mellow. Uh, I just checked Goblin Spy. He was 13, 13, and 15 with these vamps. Yeah. 
a lot of them games though against some of the really top uh, players or against the ridiculous kill teams like what um, Dandy had you know and a lot of times he ended up with about four players left so you know he's a bit better than that um, just as, he's a bit better than that um, record oh is he, has he actually started telling people who they are then Melo oh well, that's alright then which ones has he, he said is in the team because I, I had the um, I think the uh, the World Cup champion is in Team PC. So, the best player in the world. So, no pressure on my lads. Yeah, well, that's fine then. I just didn't want to say now, yeah, Crucify it, yeah. Yeah, that's what I've got, Harring Zod. Harring Zod, that name rings a bell, but Onan. Now, didn't he win the World Cup, Onan? Am I right in saying that? He won the World Cup. Yes, he won the World Cup. Yeah. So he has got VGP, because I was told VGP wasn't in his team. And CQK, no, yeah, I know he's a big name. I was glad he got him. I don't know if VGP was wanting to be in it, but when I spoke to Andy today, he said no. So I don't know what's going on there. I'll be good if VG's in it. I like VG. Now nah, I wish I was in it so I could play Ornan again. Oh, did you? Did you actually? Did, was he who knocked you out? Then was it? Was that the guy who actually knocked you out? Was Ornan? Yeah, he's the human guy who beat me. Yeah. What the hell was I bloody thinking then? I, I could have sworn I was... I thought it was a Necro Undead final. Was that the semi-final then? Yeah, that was the other semi. Oh, right, okay. That confused me. Oh, so, hu so actually Human actually won the bloody World Cup after all then? Crikey. All right, Melo Gold. Well, either way, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a really good uh, team they've got, and Andy's done really, really well because obviously Guinness was sorted out, and then real life issues and everything else. So Andy's had to take over pretty late on, and has done a very good job getting the team sorted. Obviously, Xbox had their team sorted from I think the first week about eight weeks ago, um, and then obviously Team PS4. I got my team sorted when I was happy with it. Yeah, and for any Xbox coaches out there, you can, you can borrow my mantra I made up for you, and that is, let's try not to embarrass ourselves this time. Just go with that attitude, and everything will be okay. <laughs> Talk about embarrassing themselves, this bloody little thrall getting slapped. He's been knocked out, the water boy is not going to be on the pitch. On the plus side, he can go and make the drinks. Ah, uh, see, this would have been a good spot for, for that apple earlier. Oh, he does, he does apple. Did he have an extra apple? Uh, don't think so. No, he, he didn't use it, did he? No, he, he, didn't use it, did he? Oh, he didn't use it earlier. Okay. Yeah. What did I know that the human won the World Cup? I did. I didn't really follow the, I did, I did the World really Cup at all, to be honest. Apart from, apart from when Durham was kicking us. This is, it's getting interesting, I mean, we could, could, this is 10.13 now, so it's getting close. Well, sorry, am I on? Sorry, I'm no, yep. losing position on my mic, yeah, okay. I was just going to say, there's no reason to slow play it now. Now you, you can score in two turns, I think it's yeah. fine. Yeah, I agree with that. Metal Gold says, who cares about the Xbox? Oh, well, I'll tell you what, I think they'll do well. I mean, all joking aside, they made a right balls up of, of season one because they got they got the rules wrong and they got the builds wrong. And they had a chance to, um, oh my God, he's gone to hand off his world and one. If this goes on the floor, oh my way, why? Oh, and it's gone. Oh, he said, you know what? I'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dodged the ball. See, this is why I would have liked him to keep that goblin down there earlier as a scoring threat. It would have kept a couple of those pieces deeper. Yeah. But the thing Plus, is, it gives you an option anyway. 
He might have to foul now because this vampire might get up and give him a good slap. That was, yeah, he's going to have to. I think I would have done the same. I don't think he's got an option but to do that. And he doesn't get him. It's a bad foul, too. Mm. It's only one assist. And now this this this, um, oh, this, this, this. troll can uh, chain push. Uh oh, he can chain push that goblin onto the um, onto the thrower, and then the vampire will get a nice juicy two die on this um, this gut runner. Is the uh, is the storm vermin in range? Or does he want to? Uh... Let's have a look. He's in range. Two JFRs. but I don't think he'll have the ball in a minute. If also plays this right, I, mean, I just I just wondering if he had the option if uh, if this turns into a scramble if he could run away with it he still could I guess yeah he still could I mean he's in the chat he's been doing all his training because he plays calcium Cass in the Civil War them two were having a bit of a smack talk earlier all good fun. But yeah, he's, he's in trouble here. I mean, I think that was so risky. I mean, you can say, yeah, it's only three plus, but how many times do we see? Oh, I do anyway. I always fail on three pluses, so I would have been scared stiff to have handed the ball there. Especially when you invite next to a bloody vampire. I failed a pretty big uh, one and nine in the World Cup. <laughs> Did you? Oh, God, sorry. <laughs> don't don't want to uh, open scars. Oh, it's okay. I ended up winning the game, but it was oh, uh, it cost me a touchdown. And uh, basically, it was the game where Wood Elf scored on my drive and I scored on their drive. All oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I just think... I would have just kept... I would have just let the government have the ball. Because, you know, leveling up and all that at this time of the... You know, you're in the playoffs now. It's all about the big W. You should not sacrifice, you know, trying to level a player up. Because if you get knocked out now, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, yeah, see, he could have um, he could have kept it on the gutter and just got himself some scoring threats. Because the gutter can go almost anywhere. So he should have just yeah. got himself like two or three scoring threats. And then it's just too much to cover and then make something happen. Yeah. Oh, my word. What is oh. this? Guess he had to. Yeah. Why Is he going the... for a triple? Is that why he did that? Uh, maybe. I would have liked to have hit the, with this thrall first, though. See where we go from there. See where we go from there. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, just get the goblin out of there. Get the tackle guy He's in there for it. sure. He's not going to do it. He's going to go. He gets three die anyway. Yeah, but he doesn't get tackle. That's the that's the yeah. difference. Oh, I'm confused. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to go with a tackle piece. Okay. I mean, still unlucky, you know, because obviously three die, you need, you know, a power above down and you've got him. But. Seems a bit odd. <laughs> no, he had to do that. Uh, I was looking at that for the gutter runner, run down, pass it to that guy halfway down the field. Mm. Just, but the damp's all alone now, though. So if he bloodlusts, he's in trouble. Yeah. It's been a funny game. It's been a funny game. Um, I mean, this also is like quite a lot of coaches I see. You know, they, they do some really good stuff, and then they do some very average stuff. And it's a case of getting the consistency to keep doing the good stuff more than the bad stuff to get to the next level. Uh, the dodge was huge, but I don't know if I like the foul. No. I mean, yeah. I mean, he got the stun, but if he gets ejected there, that's that's painful. Oh well, this is gonna be painful as well. well Have a bit of that. Well. Have a bit of that. I always like to see one die blocks what aren't needs to be thrown punished. There was no reason, nothing beneficial there to. Have Played that one die block at all, you know? You just okay. I, I like the, the troll is free, right? He sure is. sure is. Yeah, he should go down and uh, get mixed up with that vampire and thrall. Then we get a little nice goblin assist, and we get a blitz on the thrall to take him out. And then the gutter runner can run off to the right hand side. Never mind, troll's just gonna chill. 
<laughs> yeah, and he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna chill. I'm not seeing anything about these big guys, isn't it? It's still not terrible though. Though you leave the vampire unbased, but he's got dodge anyway and tackle. But I mean, I think you've got to you've got to take out the thrall though, so that if he bloodlusts, hmm. he's got no option. But that's why I like the option of blitzing with a tackle piece. So if he didn't get him down with the tackle vampire, what he would have done, but if he didn't, then at least you've got the tackle on the learner. Because then obviously that would the tackle obviously negates dodge. So if if he'd have rolled a one, he'd have had to have used a re-roll on a four plus. So it would be a lot more pressure on obviously Rooney. Um and now he's going this way, and obviously he's got a free stone vermin. Although I don't know what else he's gonna do. Let's have a look. What's he got down here? I think he's got to blitz that thrall. But the the problem is the other thrall on the ground is too close now. Mm, yeah. He's looking for some divine inspiration here, isn't he? No, he's going to go for the thrall. Okay. This, if the storm vermin gets him, he comes back to cover the one on the yeah. ground. If he can stun him. What well, he can't. But obviously, there's this vampire reeve as well, you know, someone's well, going to take care of this vampire. Hmm. Well, um, the vampire you're just going to have to live with. Like, it's all, it's basically all guarding against the bloodlust, right? If the storm vermin comes back and catches that thrall, he can run a goblin across to grab the one he just knocked down, but he's hmm. just going to base the vampire. That's not bad either. I mean, it's six and one, half dozen in the other, right? Yeah. He didn't base the thrall, though. Or, yeah, I would have based the thrall on the ground. He's got a goblin he can try and dodge away here if need be. And base the one on the ground. I think that goblin has to stay next to the troll, though, in that mess, just to make sure that he ties up one of those other pieces. Like, you've got, if that goblin runs away, then it only needs one piece to get loose. There we go. There we go. Oh. Alright, he has two heads. I forgot. Oh, I keep mm. forgetting that. Yeah. yeah. So it's all about protecting the ball carry as best it can now, isn't it? That's all we, oh, here we go. Have a bit of that. He can't re-roll that and he doesn't. And the ABA holds up nicely. I probably would have just activated him. I wouldn't even probably try to dodge. Mm. Just leave him be. I'll be honest, I'd be tempted just to blitz with the vampire here. Go straight across 3+, plus, 2+, plus, and splat that rat. Obviously bring some things back first. But um, that's definitely the play. There's no other play in my opinion. That vamp we tackle's got... Well yeah, go. you're, still, you're still looking good going into overtime and the re-rolls. He hasn't done any attrition this half. So yeah, he might. you could just go for it right now. Yeah, you're in a position to. Yeah, three plus and a two plus, good odds with a dodge built in as well. Gotta love your odds there, as long as you don't bloodlust. Just gonna grab a cook oh, from the fridge, y'all. Uh, I can't just keep positioning problems. I don't like the fact that he brought a guy over to this to the left side of the pitch. There's literally nothing going on over here. You don't want to devote more manpower. Yep. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm back. Yeah, he wants it all where the action is, doesn't he, really? But... Well, it's just that Storm Vermin on the ground is going to do nothing next turn. It's not going to be any factor at all. It can't score. It can't even really get a base without GFIing or an assist, I mean. So there's, no, there's just no point covering it, really. See, I hope he doesn't go back um, with his vampire. I'll just go straight across. I'll, I'll yeah, go straight through and use your dodge skill. Yeah, hope you make it. Yeah, it does start relying on GFRs. We don't have a skill for apart from a reroll. I mean, yeah, technically it is a harder, is a harder dodge, but 
at least you've got the you know the re-roll to do it a three plus is still decent i know we uh, sort of failed handoff but i just think it's a, just a better option because although you got four re-rolls then we rolls could go pretty quick and again he devotes another piece to the left hand side of the pitch i just can't understand it yeah. So here we go. How is he gonna do the dodge? I think he's gonna go backwards, maybe here. I wouldn't, but we'll see. Oh, what? <laughs> he makes that three plus? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Properly punished. Pro that's just that should happen every time. That was just awful. And he's gonna hypno with him, and he fails hypno. That oh, <sighs> uh, and, and you know, I'll go back to this where you know people say, oh yeah, PC coaches make fun of the console players, and it's stuff like that. Why they make fun of us? He, 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 I just stuck it. That was just crazy. That was absolutely crazy because the the move he made. If that was successful, that's just the same as the other vampire would have done with the two die. Yeah. So, so why if he do just it? does that with the other vampire, he hits the ball carrier. And now he's got bloodlust. Oh, it's a fucking hell. Oh dear. Oh dear. He's going for it anyway. He's going for it anyway. And he's off. Oh my word. Off. Well, that's how not uh. to. Uh... Well, he's punished, and he deserves to be punished. I don't want to be harsh, but I don't. I don't think he could have played that turn much worse, to be honest. I don't. I I really don't think anyone could have played it as bad as that. I'm stunned. You see, if that was if that vampire was there, Duran, just maybe just a J five to get the hypno on that blitzer i so couldn't stand that i totally get that but he had to go through them dodges what was the same dodges the bloody blitzing vampire was gonna do i mean oh my god i mean that i haven't seen any, anything that bad for a while oh dear but again it could be the pressure of the playoffs i don't know he was i, I just don't get it i really don't don't get that at all and he really should be punished now this turn seems pretty simple to me. You just uh, you just got to get rid of that thrall somehow, the one that's in the middle of the pitch, yeah. and then you're uh, you're looking pretty good. Well, I want. So he's a GFI away from scoring. Is the uh, the gutter runner? Yeah, I saw that. I mean, you don't want to risk that at this point. <laughs> no, not after everything we've just saw. <laughs> if he wasn't alone, you could you could sort of get it, but you just know you're going to roll a bloody one with a learner. Um... Oh, Melo says just score. So he would have gone for it. Um... You still got that thrower to bring down. You still peel that goblin loose. To double up on the vampire. Yeah. Oh god, that was a big that was a big dodge. Oh, uh, wrong, wrong, wrong square though. <laughs> I think I would have just doubled him up with the other guy. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. <sighs> Not this time. I suppose it doesn't matter though. Really, he's still gonna have to make a lot of dodges to get in there. So. Yeah, and the thing is, as well, is he's already seen him make a, a, a pig's ear of the turn before. Um, I'll be interested to see what he does here. I think Rune is pretty happy, apart from this thrall down here. Who oh, can't get that one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Two dear fat, yeah. It can do it, but it'd be a lot of dice. Oh, 
whatever he does, I hope he doesn't spend any more rerolls unless it's to hit the ball carrier itself. I hope he just lets. But if he fails before he gets to the ball, I hope he just lets it go. I mean, there's, there's definitely stuff you can do. I mean, it, it could it could hypno this other little goblin here and, and blitz through with the other, with the other vamp if he wants. Clear that goblin up as he's done. Yeah, this is the play. You move that goblin. Yeah. Then you can swing around with the other vamp to hypno gaze, and you get your blitz on the ball. Still two die. Yeah. Still dodges, but that's the best you've got. I mean, he, he didn't even have to follow up with that thrall. He just made the dodge harder now. Well, he didn't get the pow, so it didn't matter either way, I guess. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, it's still the same. My mistake. Um, be interesting to see what he does here, but there's definitely a, an option on the ball. You just think if he can get this ball loose, that could be it. That could be game over. Well, not just loose. His blitz with the with the guard vampire on the ball. If he gets the hypno gaze on the goblin, he pushes him to the sideline. If it goes out of bounds, that could yeah. that could end the game right there. Yeah. Could just go somewhere as unreachable. <laughs> Mel Gold says Mel Gold says that pass block vampire really bothers me. Uh oh, uh oh, failed dodge and the stun to go with it. Double one. Okay, not. Not sure what he was thinking there. Well, I think what he's going to do is he's, he's got to um, hypno with that one and then blitz with the other one. That's what I think he was trying to do. But uh, yeah, it's one one. So double one for the famous vampire one turn. Oh yes. Don't think we'll be getting that. Yeah, Mel, that's what I thought he was going to do. He was going to do the 3 plus 2 plus the Hypno Gaze and then blitz with the guard vamp, but he was thinking something else. Yeah. So, oddly enough, we just played an entire half of Blood Bowl, and neither team is down a player. Really? From when it started. Yep. Wow. Still eleven ten. And that's all that A V seven, that stunty and all that stuff. We've had claw piling on, on there as well, and we've lost nothing. That is crazy. We're not doing the jobs right. Well it's it just means the coin toss is gonna matter in overtime, like like I, I think back to when Rooney could have just put the attrition game on him, and he didn't. He just did. He use the troll. I mean, he could have just taken over the entire half right then. But oh, dub skulls! Yeah, and then the vamps had the vamps had him. If he did done it right, the vamps could have won it there and then. And then they put in probably the West End, like like I've, I've said for a long time. Um, he just did everything wrong, <laughs> you know. It wasn't just one thing, everything, and obviously that basically cost him the touchdown. And Rooney just set up all three together. I, I realize you need a full 11 to do a one turn with movement six, but I think there's a way to do it with a quick snap. I'm not good enough to do it myself, but I think if he, if he had gotten a quick snap, there still might be a way to one turn this. I'll but be honest. It'd be I'll, very, very hard. I'll, I'll be honest, if I'm vampires now, I'm just trying to kick the crap on the goblins. Oh, I hey, hey. Stampy, stampy, tam, and that's a great kick. Time to put that dirty player to work. Absolutely. And that was a dead player used the app on as well, wasn't it? What would have been knocked out? And uh... I instantly don't like that. Just take your two dies, see what you get, and then set up your foul. You can move by moving these pieces earlier. You're hurting your foul later. Unless he just kills everything. That could happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
I've just done. He'll want to get some removals, get the numbers whittled down. These goblins have done a really good job of uh, keeping on the pitch. Oh, gets the balls down. Nice. I think he only needs one more assist, and then he gets its a. Uh, it's, it's a literal armor break with the DP. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you foul here though? You, you've not really removed anything, and there's a good. I suppose you do because you've got the bribe, haven't you? You've got. You've, I suppose you've got to go. Yeah, you got the bribe. You just do it because of that. It's not a good reason otherwise, but the bribe makes it totally yeah. doable. Yeah. Obviously, plus one stunty for the injury as well. If he when he breaks through the armor, you'd expect at least a, a KO on this, if not. If not oh, what did he just do? Oh, okay, he did foul. I didn't see the boot. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go, there's a beautiful injury. And again, the referee is letting this dirty player have a field day. I think that's the third one he's done. And the refs turned a bl blind eye to all of them. Yeah, but I don't know if you keep fouling in overtime. It seems like a risky proposition. But it is, I guess it will be completely situational. But Yeah, and having, and having that um, DP... I don't know what. The, well, you, you just, why would you do that? Fuck hell. <sighs> pass, literally pass. Yeah, just let him run off the pitch. You get him right back. Yeah, just yeah. why would you even touch him though? No. Oh. I don't know. There's, there's nothing you could have done. Uh, nothing you could have done with him. Because you're not gonna bite a thrall. That's just. Yeah, that's just silly. Uh, yeah. Just doesn't make any sense. Well, overtime it is. <laughs> Being to see what happens. And the vampires have the ball um, in overtime. And it's now very sunny. So, there you go. And the Gopher Thralls have won, I do believe, the fan factor as well. So. Oh, I need his bathroom. I'm back in a minute. Okay, no worries. So basically, if, if I'm the vampires here, um, I'm just setting up and making sure I try and protect myself from the defense blitz as well. Um, depending on obviously how DPS puts his defense, but um. The kick, the kickoff table could be big here. Always had this down as a close game, and it's 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 happened another overtime. Uh, I don't think Gimlick's did Gimlick's game go into overtime. We, we obviously know that um, as a win the four-time champion, he got knocked out in overtime against UC Hunter Shod. Um, he's getting a right nickname for taking out the UC players, his shot, and that's why he's called the UC Hunter. Um, so poor old Aswin. And, that, and that's the thing, isn't it, about the, the playoffs? You know, obviously last season, um, Aswin got to the final and was cruelly knocked out on penalties. New season, new playoffs, out first round. So, you know, you just got to enjoy it because you just never know what's going to happen the next next playoffs. So if you get a chance, you've got to try and take it. So these two guys have got a good chance to progress to the next round. One of them obviously will. But which one? No, it's a four vamp team. One of them's injured. And he's missing next game as well. Obviously, the kick I would imagine will come around here because what what Ruin is trying to do is pull most of the vampire players of this side. So if he gets a defense blitz or anything like that, he's got a better chance to attack the ball. Oh, 
But if you want more Azur Wayne, click on that sexy link Bernie's gonna put in the chat. Blitz is pretty bad. Deep kick too. Oh, what am I putting in the chat? You messaged me something. Not whisper. I messaged the link for the Civil War draft if you want more sexy Azur Wayne and Antonio Banderas. Ah, okay. Yeah, I was trying, I was gonna self promote, I was gonna help you promote your channel, but then I realized, oh, if I post the link in Bernie's chat, I'm gonna get timed out, so I just <laughs> can't do it. I oh, know, he's, he's a bugger, he's that, um, that bot. He is. Yeah, Aswin, yeah. yeah. A lot Aswin. of people yeah. love his what voice, don't they? Why didn't he follow? No idea. You don't have to pile on. <laughs> so the defense blitz works. But again, you see, in a way, that's why I would have had these um, these rats a lot closer to the line of scrimmage. Because um, if something like this does happen, you're in a better position to either get the ball or, um, you know, put pressure on it. But, this is not looking good for the Vamps. Well, somebody's got to run down. I think the gutter runner just potatoes, honestly. Somebody's got to go down there and make a threat because this could really screw them up. you got to put the pressure on, right? you got to make them feel it. Yeah. If you don't send anybody back there, then it's just almost like, eh. I think it's sort of the time we have to sacrifice the gutter runner now. He's got Shadow in, he's got preemptive tail. Yeah. So at least uh, make him blitz you off. Um. No, I wouldn't have even based him. Make him waste his blitz on the gutter runner. Now he gets a free hit, right? Yeah, but the thing is, he'll, he'll, he will have wanted to have, um, use that vampire to, catch, to take the ball, surely. That's why I think Rooney's thinking. So he's thinking, you know, if I put him in base contact, he's going to have to use a vamp to blitz him off unless yeah unless... I, I guess it's the same either way looking at it again yeah he doesn't really have anybody else oh he's got a thrall here he could run back but he might be too far yeah i think it's a good call um and this is the problem when i said before the kickoff my, you know my main thing in overtime is to make sure protect against the blitz um and he sort of didn't and he's in a bit of trouble for it Are you saying he fell for the offset LOS, Bernie? Yeah. Basically. But I, when, I, when I look over time, I just look at it as look, we've got, it's just another half. And the first thing you need to do is get that ball secure. Um, and there's, that helps. A nice knockout there. Yeah, you should always have a, you, you should never just have one guy back in overtime. It's no. usually a recipe for disaster. It is. It is, because if you just get the defense blitz, you're in a lot of trouble. You know, and the thing is as well, these rats are quite quick as well. They're quicker than you are, so, you know, it's not like you're playing dwarf. Well, this is it. Like Even if he gets this gutter on her and just lays him out dead, the thrower is still in prime position to get in there and cause some trouble. Yeah. Oh, he's got him, though. Got him good. He's going to kill him. Snap his neck. He needs at least a stun. He needs yeah. time. Oh, he KOs him. And um, that's huge. That's two removals. And you can't apple star players. No, you certainly can. And uh, I think if if they're both if they're both down each other, which is a shame. He still has his apple too. I would have used it for sure there. But Melo said, "What if they're both down? If they both go down?" I don't know. I'm sure I've seen it before when the buff go down, he just gets a bite to Thrall and goes back down again. Yeah, he's standing right next to a Thrall. He could have just bit someone. All of a sudden, this looks a lot more safer now for the vamps. Yeah, which is why I would like. It's hard to say he did. He didn't commit enough, but I think the the claw palmer should have been in through the hole too, and not running back. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I think you can definitely overcome it slightly because you're faster than the vamps. It's not like you, you you're overcoming against like the wood elves or a skaven team or something ridiculously fast. Um, and you, I mean, his best chance really was to put the pressure on. Um, and now the problem obviously is now is the vampires have got two removals there, and the vamps now, although it's in a bit of a bad position where the ball is, he is strength four. Um, you'd think it's the vampires game to lose from here. Yeah, like think of that claw palmer is right next to the thrower or just one square behind him or one square behind him to the left. Like he's in such a much better spot than where he is now. There's always the option of bloodlusts and all that, and Blood Bowl is a crazy game, but this looks like Yeah, well that's it, I think you gotta try and make those vampires roll dice. Yeah. Need to get some attrition for himself as well, because his attrition's been pretty poor, for the firepower he's got. But that troll's gonna step up to the plate now. That was close. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know if I like that. Hmm. I presume he's going to throw the block with this guy then, surely. If you're going to put him there, surely you're going to do hopefully not doing a one in that. He's going to go with troll first. And yeah, the troll first. He didn't learn in the second half. <laughs> no, got away with it all this time. At the moment, I don't think I need to... I think he disengaged those goblins too. Put one behind the troll and then pull the other one back. Square. do that I think yeah see that. the reason I don't like this is because if he powers that goblin now the troll is all by himself yeah. he gets a stun or something if he was behind the troll he's going to be able to use the troll next turn because he's not blitzing the goblin behind the troll right so I mean, there is the crazy player passing to do the vampire. Yeah, it's a little too early for that. <laughs> well, it is. It is. But I'm just thinking, we've seen some crazy stuff already. And I'm just thinking, is he going to just go, you know what, sod this. Here you are, vamp. Go and take the ball and just run up the pitch. Slap that goblin out of the way. And let's get it done. It wouldn't be my play, but I'm just thinking... I mean, yeah, I mean, this is definitely the way to go. Go down the vampire's right is definitely the best way to go. A lot more safer as well. Because all the fast rats are right down on the left. So this is nicely played from also. Yeah, we're pretty much on Bloodlust Watch now, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Here we are, yeah. On Bloodlust this week. Oh, there we go. Have a bit of slapping down there. Trying to lock it down. Best it can. If he uh, bases the lineman on top of him, he can set up a nice easy surf for next turn. I think he's overthinking it now. 
Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? I was thinking the same thing there. It's like he's, he's, he's like, you know, but I suppose he's got the time. Um, I don't know. I don't think he's ever been in a playoffs before either. I think that's something we've got to got to remember as well. So there's a lot of pressure, and it's all new to him. Um, it's always a lot easier if you played in the playoffs before. Like he hasn't moved the ball yet, which has me a little concerned. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's nice. That's another one. No, is the problem. And I just bring that up because the ball is still like two squares away, away from the other end zone, right? Like, it's yeah. just not a good spot. It's not. <laughs> I've just, I've just got this nagging doubt he's going to throw the ball to the vampire. Where's he going? Da -da 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 -da. Who's the more of a high elf player? The, the vampire coach? I'm presuming. Yeah, he's he's way overthinking this. He just took out three players that turn, didn't he? Or the last two turns or something? Yeah, I think four players like, actually. The last two turns, yeah. I think he's trying to just pitch clear him, then walk up the pitch. <laughs> but um, you know, you you only move him six, but yeah, but it could still it could still go to penalty kicks if he wanted thirty six of bloodlust and he's not close enough to the thrall. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's just he's I'd be moving up the field. <laughs> Yeah, I would. I would as well. He's he's in, he's in a good position to. Um, but you know the pressure. That's all I can think of. He dare make a mistake because he's trying to play it as safe as possible. But sometimes that can that can be even worse. Um, but this is frustrating for the. Um, for the underworld, they're not getting the attrition at all, and uh, that doesn't help either. Oh, <laughs> and the troll does it again with a dub scores you can't reroll that, but he does. Oh, why would you reroll? One and nine, that oh, he eats it right, he has to eat it. He didn't, he rerolled it, didn't he? No, no, I mean, the wrestle piece has to eat it, not wrestle. Oh, yeah, yeah, eat it, yeah, definitely. I mean, go. I know you're armor seven, and that troll, big troll's got mighty blow, but turn the fucker over. <laughs> yeah. And like it, like we said, if he'd have moved his vampire up like he should have done, he would be in a great position now just to go. But oh, it'd be over. It'd, it'd be, be over. Yeah, it'd be over. <laughs> but because he's held back here, I suppose he could go up and pass it to a thrall or pass it to a, a vamp, but... Oh, man. That troll again. I I I I tell you what. I would have rewrote that dub skulls because of where the vampire was. Now he's got no rerolls at all. And he's got a troll stranded. Okay. I definitely want to see that tackle vampire blitz the goblin and move up the field. I want to see this happen. <laughs> <laughs> Power on his killer. Now, what's he going to do? 
<laughs> Again, it should be over, but just the way also was playing this turn, he's kind of possibly letting him back in the game a little bit. Yeah. It's not clever. But again, you know, you, you know, you when you look at the two coaches, Runemont's been in the playoffs quite a lot, and he's made a final also, and this is his first time he's been in the playoffs. And you know, it's pressure, isn't it? It's it's all new to him. He's trying to not make a mistake. But at the same time, you know, you you know, you've got to move forward. But we'll see. there's no rule that says you have to score score on turn twenty four. Like, well, just get it done. Oh, somebody's bloodlust and he's rerolled it. And if you see where, oh god, oh dear. Oh, yeah, that is a very good point, yeah, Melagol. Does he know it's sudden death? That is a really good point, because that, that happened last year with Sega, wasn't it? The the rat coach could have won the game, and he tried to stall it out. Uh, yeah, you should just... There's no reason to stall in overtime, zero. Just make your best advanced. You'd be safe, of course, but advance, and just get it done. Yeah. He could go for a 10-25 touchdown, but... Oh, here we go. Where's he going now? And now he was actually better staying back because moving up, he's going to give up a two red die blitz to that storm vermin. Well, he can bring the thrall. Well, he can, he bring, can bring the thrall around. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. But still, like, he's giving him opportunities that shouldn't exist, which is just not good. So it's not too bad. But yeah, that that's the thing. If he doesn't know... Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so he gives it to him then. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. But, you know, it is a valid point because, like I said, when I, my first ever season, I, I didn't know you had to score in 24 turns. And if he do, and the same thing with him. If he if he thinks it's not sudden death, then I can understand why he would stay back. Totally understand that. So that is a good point. Um. He actually has, if he's willing to make the dodges with that thrower on the ground, he has a one die on the ball. Mm. Problem is, he, he wasted that reroll. He's just going to retreat. Yeah. I can understand that. I would, I would still take the two. Oh, he's going to do the troll. Oh. You know what? I'm glad he's done that. Because I think that was a freaking awful play, putting the vamp there. And, Pat, yeah, that he deserved. Well, that helps his cause, for sure. It's like one of his two main dangerous pieces is the troll, and he parks a vampire on it for no reason at all. And that vampire, we bent a reroll to put him there as well. And I just feel, I don't know, he's either panicking or I, he, he, I just feel he's just throwing this game away. He's, he's obviously not meaning to, but he's just doing everything wrong. <laughs> You know? Yeah, his positioning is uh has not been good. But again, you know, I've seen him play a lot better than this, but it's the pressure. People who haven't played in the playoffs won't appreciate the pressure, and especially the first time of being in the playoffs, and that's all I can think all I could put it down to. Because he had this game won. You know? And now he's just making such hard work of it and now we see Runimont's experience coming into play. And he's starting to get himself back in a game where he had no right to Yeah. Be. This this was probably the better outcome. If he'd gone for the play I was thinking of, which was, of course, just use the two-headed dodge, get down on the spam for an assist, and then dodge blitz for a one-die. Yeah. Obviously, that gives him a better chance to just outright get the ball loose and win, but if it fails, he's just screwed. So, so that's the first time he's actually moved the ball carry first, and he's going to try and pass it. He does. He's going to probably go down the right, is he? Here, here's a pro tip for everyone watching. Uh, if you, if the ball is on the guy with guard, guard is useless. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I can see what he's going to try and do now, though. So it's not too bad. Well, yeah, he's got he's got to go down the right side. Everything else is on the left. I mean, it's, so it's not much of a choice. 
grabbing too much on that move. It's, again, it's another it's another positioning mistake. Rooney should have went more central as opposed to going to the left where the ball is. If he goes more central, then he he doesn't you know if he goes up the left, so be it. He can then swarm in on him next turn, but because he went to the left, he just opens up the right. So. Yeah. Yeah, and it was pretty. You, you could see um, also was straight on to, with that ball carrying, and he knew exactly what he wanted to do. So he saw this straight away and goes right. You know where he's been dilly dallying a bit. He's been a bit not sure what to do. This turn, he was very precise what he wanted to do, and it's paid off nicely for him. Um, and now all of a sudden, I think you add the assist here to the killer on the ground. Throw the boot down. Uh, I would. That I don't. There's no reason to base the troll. I would be basing that whatever it is, that storm vermin. Yeah. Foul the killer with the. Uh, well, move move the guy over for the assist. Foul the killer, and you're good. Yeah, you could have two assists. I don't, there's no reason to base the troll. The troll's not doing anything next turn. No. Although, I don't know if it's in his playbook. I guess he could throw the goblin. Maybe that's why he did it. Mm. I'm not really sure any any reason to throw the goblin yet, has he? But you never know, he may do. The problem I have is Bruno not wasting that re-roll on the troll. Because um, you'd think if you had that re-roll, I'd feel a bit better for Rooney. But with that, without that re-roll, he's got none left. And one little mistake, and that's it. It's over. Um, but yeah, he, his positioning he fell into the trap where he just went strong one side and the vamps were gone the other side and they played it well. Yeah, see, if Rooney had it just kept towards the middle more last turn, would he have gone to the right? Would he have gone to the left? Whichever way he would have gone, Rooney could have defended it way better. Yeah, absolutely. And here comes the boot. Oh, he got it without an assist. <laughs> oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, that could be it right there. And again, the referee doesn't send him off. That's four now. I think we can assume that the referee is just one of those uh, inflatable that you see at the car dealerships. They're just yep. waving his hands in the air. He's not really there. He's just got to stand in. Is he just at well, what, was, what was all that? Is he at the goblin? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, he tried to throw him. Just yeah. didn't work. <laughs> no. But wouldn't it be better to have moved the um, the goblin and the thrower first, just in case? I mean, can, I presume you can suffer a turnover if the uh, from the goblin, can you? If something goes wrong horribly. That's nice. One die, yeah. Okay, you can see why. He's rolling some dice. Well, he's going to have to now, hasn't he? He's in such a bad position, but he's trying to recover the best he can. Like, this turn's pretty straightforward. You just get as much meat around that vampire as you can after the vampire's in range, and then you just bust through the next turn and win. Yeah. That's basically how you do it. Trying to think who who plays the winner of this game. I don't know who's the player next, but uh, looks like it's going to be vamps. Bar something crazy. Whoever it is is going to probably be the favorite <laughs> after what I've seen today. But um, we'll see. I don't know what I don't know what the current thing is. All I know is I got halflings and then I get shot if I win. So. Oh, so you would have had that as win a shot then. So you'd be happy to have got shot, I would have thought. You, you've dodged the four-time champion. Although dwarves... Uh, are not too bad. Dwarves against Dark Elves is probably better. Yeah. But his, his Nurgle team, I looked at it today, it's not... It's not, it, it's not what you expect Nurgle to be in the playoffs, so I'm actually okay with the Nurgle team as well. Yeah, yeah he lost two killers in the last week of the ladder, so obviously you can't replace them very, very quickly, so... Uh... 
But you know, he, he did well to take care of the tramp again. And there's a bloodlust somewhere. Uh oh. Uh oh. You can't re roll that, just tromp on something. Which one is it? That's it's, the important it's question. It's the one in the back. Oh, yeah. Just uh, run up next to the troll and bite that one. He's really re rolled him. He's re rolled it. You haven't moved the ball yet, though. So you have to move the ball now, because you might need to use the thrall for something else. Nope, he's going to move the thrall first. Yeah, I can understand that, because he, then he'll move the vampire, and then obviously if he goes wrong, he'll bite that thrall. So that... Uh, yeah, he, well he has to bite the thrall he just moved, yeah. So, yeah. So I, 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 yeah. I totally get that. Um, Go for some bases here on the back. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, I'd even stretch this guy out to grab the thrower, screw it at this point. Mm-hmm. The only problem is that that throws, it's a 2 plus dodge with a reroll built in. Yeah, but it's better than standing around doing nothing with them, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, here comes the blitz. He's going for that goblin. When he gets him, he's rolled some nice powers as this vampire team. Might as well take the GFI, step in there, make him roll some extra dice. Yeah, and that's it, he's got no rerolls left, so, you know, anything you can do to make him roll dice is a good thing. Oh no, he stepped in the wrong square, I would have stepped right in all three of them. But, yeah, uh... yeah, I would have done that. <laughs> that would have been exactly the same. Oh, here we go, but he's going to just roll some GFIs this way instead. Have a bit of that. And surely the vampires are going to fall over the line next turn, bar a miracle. He's going to throw, here we go, have a bit of that, and he says, nah, you're alright, mate, I'm just going to stay put. Well, do you do the suicide, cage dive, red die, looking for the double pow, or? Oh, no, double pow, it's not looking good, is Try it? and set up some kind of wall. <laughs> oh, God. Can we, can we set up a wall? That's what I'll be looking at. And pray he bloodlusts or does something. It's not a good spot, is it? Um, the suicide dodge may be your only chance to win, unfortunately. Because uh, if he holds on to the ball, I, I can't see him losing. The problem is with the suicide cage dab, I mean, oh, it doesn't matter, it's over. There we go. Yeah. Well, no, that's what I mean. He needed the double pal red die. Like, the, it's definitely, like, what, less than 3% to work, but it's 100% he wins if he does nothing, so. Or, no, it's probably 3% the other way, hoping he bloodlusts himself off the pitch, but he's got so much to be, bite on. I mean, there's just, I don't see a way it gets, I, I don't see a way that, you know, the vampires beat themselves at this point, so. Well, usually I'd agree with you, but what we've seen... <laughs> I'm a bit hesitant to say this. Is over. He's just too close now. He's just, he can't out position himself away from the end zone. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's just, he's got it. There it is. GG. Run the thrall in. Yeah. You don't even have to worry about the 1 and 36. Make, make sure the thrall goes in first, for the love of God. There we go. Good lad. No, no. <laughs> no. Oh, I suppose you could have him there. Uh, it doesn't matter. And there we go. Congratulations also. The vampires. Get through, and he looks delighted. There's Count Doggula. Um, I love it when they name the name the players. Always good. Yeah, there was there was a couple couple. Oh, you can't even really say that was that was all about bad positioning, basically that game. And just uh, if one player had done this, if the other mm -hmm. player had done that, this would have. Who knows how this game could have turned out? Like I can't really say the dice decided. Like the dice didn't really screw anyone, from what I saw, anyway. Yeah, and they both had a fair amount of attrition at one point, and then it stopped. And then I don't know. Yeah, the the, the troll <laughs> wasn't very good, was he? he? He let him down on a few key things. 
Um, I, 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 I do think though um, that 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 re-roll, that last re-roll, uh, was an awful um, decision from Rooney. Uh, he dub sculled the troll. He went straight into the re-roll. I think he. <laughs> I mean, then he got unlucky again, didn't he? Because the loan away, but then he got a one in nine. He won a nine, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it I was a funny game, game, wasn't it? I mean, well, so the, the positioning was just all over the place. Like it's hard to say how it would have turned out if they just made a few different choices at different times, right? So yeah, I, th- I think Rooney held on as well as he could, and then obviously that positioning where he went all the way to the left or the the vampires left, and then. Obviously, he went down to the right. Um, but yeah, it, it was a funny game. I, th- I thought, like I said, I think that's all Sub's first time he's been in the playoffs. I think he felt a lot of pressure. He made a hard work of it. Rooney stuck in as best he could. Um, Ro- Rooney's attrition was awful, wasn't it? He just couldn't get anything off the pitch in the second half or, the, or over time. And that's, you know, you definitely need to get removals. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a funny game, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm just looking at the dice log. Bloodlust was 87%, so his vamps were well behaved. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah, it was. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, his armor was pretty good, too. 63, 19 of uh, 32 attempts, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm just going to see who plays who now. So. Uh... Oh, did they notice the MVP was on the MNG vampire? Oh, was it? And it was a level. <laughs> yeah, so he got a level for a guy he won't be able to use next game. Well, if it gets through. If it gets through. Who knows? So in hindsight, maybe that apple would have been correct, but you never know that stuff. You, just, you, can't, you can't think as to whether that, can you? So obviously, um, the Gopher of Thralls will either play Shagrath's um, Chaos or um, Segezio's um, Amazons. Um, so that is interesting. Meanwhile, obviously, you play, as you've said, if you beat the Halfling, you end up playing against Shod. Um, so, yeah, there's, I mean, there's three games being played, so not many games being played so far, but we're going to get a lot back in by the looks of it. No, you did give everybody, like, a week and a half, Bernie. So, I mean, I was going to play next weekend if my opponent could, but he can't, so I don't know. It's going to be sooner than later, I guess. Yeah, well, the thing is, I, I always try and reward them if they... They get. I mean, I always give a week, but if they get the tickets in quickly, then I give them the extra few days if need be as like a, a reward sort of thing. So, um, you know, they've they've got until obviously next Sunday to to get the games in. That should be more than enough time anyway. Um, the the only thing I always worry about is when they all pile the games in like within an hour of each other, so we can't stream as many games. And obviously, we want to try and stream as many games as we can. So, um, but there's some there's some good ones still to come. I, I I'm I'm looking forward to the uh, the grudge match. Um, Dandy WR82 versus um, Calcium Cast. I think that'll be a, a bit of a grudge match. Yeah, I had a look at that matchup earlier. Uh, obviously, I think Bert, or Cass is the better coach, but man, he's he's up against it build wise. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, absolutely. I'm I'm wondering if he'll um, go for Griff Oberwald. He's got 400 TV. I'm a big fan of Griff. Um, you know. I just I thought he was gonna have a guard advantage before I looked, just knowing Cass and knowing he likes guard. And then I looked at the teams and went, "Oh crap!" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's he's, he's not. He's only got two. The orcs have three. They like I knew the orcs were light on guard, so I was like, "Oh, Bernie should have a or Bernie Cass should have a guard advantage here, so yeah, he should yeah. be all right." And then it's like, "Oh no, he doesn't." So uh-oh. yeah, he does have a few agility pieces, doesn't he? But um, yeah. It's but the orcs good. are dodgy too. Like it's really weird. Yeah, I'll just I'll just show what we're talking about before we go, since it is one of the big games of the of the week. Um, if I can find him, that is. Well, it's funny the two the two biggest games are already done, probably right. <laughs> yeah, this this one's got the big this one's got the spice of it, though, hasn't it? That's that's what I like about this one. So if we look at Calcium's uh, team, uh, it's humans. He's always said he's he's great with humans, and this is the first time we get to see him in action. Um, I must admit that is a brilliant uh, team name. He should win it just for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's got he, he usually has three guard ones out, but he's, so he's got two guard. He's got a, a mighty blow pile on killer, and importantly, he's got two agility four pieces as well. He's got his ogre, um, and like I said, he will have inducements. So it'll be interesting to see what he picks, because usually I would go for Griff, but he does have already two agility four pieces, so maybe he doesn't need him. Um, three rerolls and apothecary fan factor seven. 
And um, what's the uh, what's movement on Griff? Is he seven or is he six? Um, he's seven with sprint with sure feet. So it can have the potential to move ten. So he is. The stream just caught up for me. I missed Cass's Sorry. team, but that's all right. Oh, okay. Um, basically, yeah. Um, movement seven, sprint, and sure feet for Griff. Blodge, Fen, Strength four, Jilly four. Very good. Um, and then we look at the Dandies team, and uh, it's. Yeah, four, five guard um, he's got as Dandy. So he's definitely got the guard. And um, he's got a mighty blow killer. So, you know, it's it's not bad. I think it, it's a hard one to call. Because obviously um, the Yorks are stronger. And they have the guard. But it'll be interesting to see what he does with the inducements. Because he will have a bit of cash. Um, yeah, see, the, the orcs are particularly stronger in this case because they have a blitzer. Yeah, who's strength four, blood who's uh, blood strength four, four, which is nice. But the and I, I, I hate his uh, agility blitzer though. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, clearly that he should have turned down agility for stand firm. Can you imagine if that piece had stand firm instead of agility? Yeah, but the thing is, he didn't know he was going to get dodged, did he? That's, that's the problem. Dodged. Yeah, but agility just doesn't work with what he has. You know what I mean? Like it's just mm. another one of these. I I'd say rookie mistakes, but he's played a couple seasons. But I yeah. just it just I just I just people understand just because you get a stat up, you you're not stick. required to take it. Yeah. If it doesn't fit your build, please ignore it. <laughs> yeah. Some people just can't resist it though. So there you go. So yeah, so that's one of the big games coming up. Um, so like I said, there is going to be games coming up. In the next few days, so stay tuned. Um, myself or Durham may stream some, and some of the other guys on the PS4 may as well. So just keep checking out. And uh, that's basically it's done. So, who's the home? Oh no, Danny's got the home field too. What's his club upgrade? Oh, Dandy's. Um, I'll have a look. Yeah, he's got home field. Um, I'll just slowly get there. Security get. Just curious. It's a riot and pitch invasions. Yeah. Okay. Right then, so that's us done. Um, thanks to Doran yet again for coming in and uh, keeping me company. Uh, thanks for everybody in, in the stream as well. And um, like I say, tune in because one of us will probably be streaming plenty of games this week. And um, yeah, thanks again. And take I'm, sure, I'm sure if uh, if we're both around for Cass's game, we'll probably both do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he usually streams yeah. his own games, but you know what? We could probably just do it as well, if, if unless he's offended by it. Um, we, we could do that, see what he says. Um, uh, I think I think he doesn't want to because he's he said I think he said he's got to focus on this one. So, yeah. well, that's given the matchup, he probably does. Yeah, I mean that's why I've always offered him before. If I can do it, I'll stream it for him so he doesn't have to. You know, he's, he's already under pressure, and you know, and the thing is as well is some people if if he streams the games himself, some people in the chat will try and wind him up anyway, and that could take him off his A game. So I always say to him, look, you know, one of us will stream if you don't want to. And I think, you know, I know he loves to stream his games, but if it was me personally, I would let somebody else stream it and just concentrate on the game, like you said, because that's a lot, lot better. Um, or I think it is anyway. Um, but there you go. Yeah, I'm like me, who's a psychopath, and I just stream everything anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, some people, some people are better at doing it than others, you know. But, um, you know, I prefer to have a little chat so I don't get bored during the game one way or the other. Like, if it's yeah. going really bad, I don't want to get, like, bored and too down. If it's going really well, I don't want to get bored and lose focus. So I prefer yeah. to have chat around myself. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So there we go. We are done. Um, so thanks again, and we'll see you during the week for another crazy playoff game. We'll probably end up going to overtime or penalties. Take care, guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.